truth is at after report claimed Unand Kano escaped from DSS custody. See what lawyer Ejimako announced. Hey, my people, my people. In fact, eh, some people too, they carry rumors. They talk with it, they not see. You see, say this now, the kind of matter. They don't, they talk, say, don't escape before. But from waiting this news, they tell us now. You can't see, say, all those ones, na rumor. So, my people, my people, I beg, make on a listing. As I go knock on the details of this story. A law, Ejemako, will be the lead cancer for Unnandu Kanu, the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOP. He can't categorically deny the rumors where be said they can't they carry say Kanu don't escape from the custody of the Department of State Services, where we know as DSS in Abuja. Ejemako can't make this statement on that Friday. Where be say they address the widespread speculations where he say in the canoe don't escape from detention. Speaking with the Daily Post, Ejemako asserted that the reports were entirely false. He can emphasize say of a truth, Kanu remains committed to comforting the systemic injustice he perceives within Nigeria's legal and political framework, rather than fleeing from them. Kanu, as we all know, a responsible and courageous freedom fighter, Ejemako can make and clear. He can say Kanu na persuade be say they determine to stay put to fight the injustice within the system, not outside of it. In a persuade be say too day big, to contemplate the option of escaping. Effort by the Daily Post to reach DSS spokesman will be Peter Ofunaya for comments were unsuccessful as calls and test messages went on answer. So the rumor of Kanu's escape had been bolstered by a report that claimed he had fled with his case file, supposedly executed with precise planning that caught authorities off guard. However, the details of this alleged escape remain speculative and unverified. The situation where they surrender Unandu Kanu's detention is they confusing since his rearrest and redaction to Nigeria. He was initially arrested in 2015 and granted bail in 2017, only to be rearrested in June 2021 under controversial circumstances. In legal team, they don't they continuously they challenge the conditions of his detention and the legitimacy of the charges against her, despite being discharged by an appeal court in October 2022. Kanu remains in DSS custody due to the federal government's stance that he was discharged, not acquitted. Ejemako can frequently criticize the DSS for what he can't describe as harsh and inhuman treatment of his silent. He alleged that Kanu has faced starvation and several restrictions on access to legal and medical consultations. Despite court orders, mandating improved conditions and aligned team consultations, Naso Ejemako claims these orders have been flagrantly disregarded by the DSS. The legal battles and political tensions will surround Kanu's case highlight broader issues within Nigeria judicial and political systems. Ejimako continue to advocate 
for Kanu's unconditional release. He can the urge the current administration under President Bola Tinibu to make it distance itself from the actions of the previous government and make it adhere to judicial rulings where be say go come favor Kanu. The persistent rumors about Kanu's escape it can appear to be part of a broader narrative of misinformation and speculative reporting, which a Jemako, he does strongly condemn her. He can reassures Kanu's supporters and the public that Kanu remains steadfast in his fight for justice within the legal framework of Nigeria and has no intention of escaping from custody. The legal team, they remain focused on on ensuring Kanu's rights are upheld and that he will receive a fair trial in accordance with the law. Akukwe can also allege that the late governor of Anabra State, Webi daughter Shuku Emeka, is a fair can complain numerously that some persons were hired to eliminate him and some evil elders by use of poisonous substances. He can't continue to make the assertion until a medical condition emerge which claimed his life. Reverend Akukwe can say the members of the Special Task Force for the release of Mna Dukano, he said they go visit Chief in Wanyawu on Monday so that they go pray for Mna if the situation not improve. Aku Kweko also states that Ibo mandate Congress they don't obtain the medical records of some of the dismissed or anese leaders through convert miss and we assemble medical and biological experts for thorough investigations to ensure that there is no systematic elimination of bold and fearless Ibu leaders. So, my people, my people, how on I can see this in Nandu Kanu matter? I don't understand what our government still they keep on for. I don't really see what this man do be be the problem of this our country. But one day, one day, we go see the end of the matter. So, I beg, I end that for you. I beg, if you get anything to talk, drop on for the comment section. And make you not forget to subscribe to this channel. Thank you.